This program is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com. One of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home. And there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us for this segment of Invent America, because America invents. If you know an aspiring inventor out there or you are one yourself, please join us at invent-america.com or inventamerica.info. We are everywhere out there on the Internet and streaming as well. So we are getting ready to take off and be on an airplane um, in a few days uh, to go to ASD Market Week, which is one of the biggest consumer product shows in America. And I do believe that the father of Home Talk USA and Invent America is already on an airplane headed out to a different show. So we will be joining him out there in a few days. But right now I wanted to introduce Kat Crompton. She is my sidekick for Invent America and getting all the postings done and letting everyone know what's out there and also helping all of our inventors who are going to the show get teed up. So Kat, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. All right. So when we've getting inventors going, we had a briefing the other day, and you noticed something that was really interesting about the difference between this show that we're going to and some of the ones in the past. What was that? <laughs> I uh, noticed that we have a lot more females going to, to this show. In in the past, we've done the National Hardware Show, and since those tend to be geared a little bit more towards tools and and other other products in those categories. This show is so much wider of an expanse over industries. And so what we found is a lot of the female inventors out there who have done things like pet products, baby products, they're very excited to be joining us at this show, and we can't wait to see everything that they're bringing. I know. We're so excited. There's, uh, you know, some are actually able to take orders. Um, uh, Jenny Salimi was on with us last week. Um, She's got inventory, so she'll be taking orders. A fashion product. Well, we're not taking that to the National Hardware Show. We are going to ASD Market Week, and that's one of the wonderful things we found is that whatever you have invented, America, um, and, you know, the interesting thing is that everybody aspires to be an inventor. It's There's just kind of a romance with the idea of being an inventor. But you know what? For those people who are not inventors, you support America Invents by going and buying these products. So we will have them posted on the website. Um, the Invent-America site will list all the products we're taking. So if you go out there and you you know want to put in your feelings about a particular product, by all means, because we're doing the Innovation Awards, and we are going to open up that voting to all of America who is listening to Invent America. So join us, please. Um, we'll be sending out that link and posting it probably in the next week or so. Right, Kat? Yeah. Yep. Show's coming up. The show is coming up. So why don't you go over the list of, you know, the uh, Innovation Awards? Because, you know, you came up with with this idea and um, we want everybody out there to realize, you know, if you go in and you vote on a product, this is what they're, it's it's not just a, you know, a a handshake and a, a little plastic cup. What are the awards? Well, what, because it's the radio show that's going to be sponsoring the, the booth, we've decided that the best way to award the people attending is to give them something related to the radio show. So we're actually offering sponsorship packages 
for free as the first, second, and third place prizes. And those will range depending on whether you're first, second, or third, how long that sponsorship will go for. But, I mean, these these value at over $6,000. So really phenomenal first place prize to whoever garners the most votes at the show or online. And, you know, we're, we're really excited to be able to offer this because it's just an amazing marketing opportunity for someone who's just starting out. And we love the idea of using the radio show as the sponsor and as the prize because it all ties back in together. Well, it's a wonderful, you know, kind of hand-to-hand relationship with ASD Market Week, their sponsors of Invent America. Invent America is a sponsor of the Innovation Awards, and all of America is going to get to vote on who's going to win. And so we want to encourage you to go to our website. You'll be able to, you know, see all the products that are listed and then go in and tell us what you think. And those inventors are going to be so grateful that you took the time. I get inventors who call almost every single week and say, oh, I was listening to you on the radio. And oh, I was listening to you on the radio and this product, I would really like to find out where to get it. And so we are grateful to everyone out there who participates in Invent America one way or another. It's absolutely amazing. So, Kat, the intensity of the show. You've been to these trade shows before. Share with our listeners a little bit about how busy we are. Oh, my gosh. The the traffic through the booth just has a tendency to be insane, that we are constantly talking to new people, meeting new people, getting the opportunity to network. We, in the past, we, we've, we've just had such a great response. So many, uh, you know, in fact, one year at the National Hardware Show, we even won the most innovative booth because having so many different products across so many different industries means there's something for everybody. And they get the opportunity to come and look and even kind of do some pre-shopping around and people enjoy it. They enjoy getting to hear from the inventor themselves, a little bit of the story. How did you come up with it? What led you down this path? So it's it's a really great opportunity for, for buyers to actually encounter the inventor and not just somebody representing them. Well, the... The, the show people have been wonderful. And ASD Market Week is, you know, full of buyers. I mean, there'll be 30,000 attendees there, and all of the attendees are related to purchasing of products. So that's one of the really cool things is that it's not just a consumer show for people off the street, although con- consumers can go and attend. So if you're out there in that Las Vegas area and you want to see what's going on, you can get um, you can get into the show and look around. You can even buy products. So come by and stop at Invent America, please, and uh, pick some of your favorites. And then you'd get to vote again. So um, those are some of the things that we're looking at. But buyers have already started contacting me and asking to set meetings to be able to come and look at the new products that we've got. So this is just an incredible opportunity for, you know, buyers, consumers, inventors, like they said, you know, the old products and the sellout stuff, they're old products. Stores and buyers, they want to see what's new, what's coming down the road. And we are so grateful to our GCN network um, for allowing us to talk about this show, for allowing Invent America to be out there, and we are grateful. So stick with us. Um, we have got a couple of inventors coming up, a couple of those lady inventors with new products that they will be launching at ASD Market Week. Kat, thanks so much for being with us. Absolutely.
listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Welcome back to Home Talk USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com. One of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country. Home Talk USA with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Hello, everybody. And the father of Invent America is on an airplane right now, headed out to one of the professional trade shows in Las Vegas. So we are doing this um, with his Moral support for sure, and with the great support of Jenna's Communication Network. Thank you so much for giving us a home. And for our couple of other sponsors, we've got Kicker Design is one of our sponsors and Product Quick Start. So if you're out there and you're working on something and you need a manufacturer, that fine tuning of your prototype, by all means, give us a call. Check us out on the website. Kicker Design is listed, and so is Product Quick Start. Both of them are excellent design companies. Our next inventor guest today is Andrea Vaughn. She has invented a new pet product. This is her first time going to the show. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. So, you know, it was it's funny because the, the last guest who was on, um, a woman inventor, you are a woman inventor, and that was one of the things that Kat had noticed that in the past, we've been mm-hmm. predominantly men inventors, so we don't want to discourage the men. We've got some really cool guy inventors going with us to this show. But mm-hmm. for the first time, we're going to have probably about 50-50 representation with the lady inventors. And, hey, you ladies, man, you can, you know, you, you can run with this. And so <laughs> we want to say congratulations on getting, you know, your... Uh, patent pending and getting your really cool prototype. Um, Andrea and her husband, Chuck, who is going to be joining us at the show, um, drove seven hours to come over and have dinner with me last weekend and show me their very cool new prototype. So, (laughs) Andrea, tell us about Pet Feeder on Wheels. What is it? Okay. Well, my product offers a um, food carrying container that holds up to two weeks of food servings broken out into the AM and PM intervals. Um, It can also be used for any kind of travel or as well in-home use, the staycations. Um, It provides for hands-free carrying through the use of backpack straps and or you could roll it um, on its rolling wheels as you would a piece of luggage. Um, and I, it's got it, it's got a little compartment for water. It's got compartments to carry some extra little things that you might need. So I think it uh, for the ease of travel with your pet. Um, I hope that it'll be something uh, the consumer could use. <laughs> Well, in, in the last, you know, decade or so, traveling with pets, I mean, we drove cross-country with two Huskies in the backseat of a Prius, so I know all about traveling wow. with pets. And yeah. um, But, you know, you've got the doggy daycares where people will go and take their pets to spend the day, and they want everything already measured out and done, especially if you've got any medications that you have to give them or you've got any, yeah. you know, special timing. And your product, the, the uh, Pet Feeder on Wheels, it allows everything to be very nicely contained and measured out marked so that somebody just opens it up and they see exactly what you want them to do. Well, exactly, and that's a part of it, the stay-at-home portion as well. When people come into your house, you don't want them going through all your cabinets and looking for things and food. It's all right there. You just open it up, and the little girl next door can come in and feed your cat and walk out, and everything stays fine. (laughs) Exactly. So you can't go with us to ASD, but your husband is stepping in to fill your shoes. Um, what What is it that he is hoping to accomplish for you? Well, he's 
My husband is my best friend, and he's such a huge help to bringing this vision of mine to reality in the product development. Um, we just finished, of course, making the prototype ourselves, and he knows it very well. And so he will be demoing the product, um, carrying it on his back, rolling it around, and just speaking about it um, as he looks for people who might be interested in a licensing agreement so that we could maybe get this product into the marketplace because I have a lot of friends that already want it. So I'm well, you know, that opportunity. And- that's the fun thing about it is once you get to patent pending and you can get out there and start showing your product, it's amazing. I mean, you get the good feedback yeah. and say, okay, let's go to the next step on this. Let's get to a show and show the buyers and everything. And I have people contacting me almost every single day now to say, can we set an appointment to come over and look at your products? Oh, wow. Wow. That's wonderful. I mean, that's that's the hope, you know. Exactly. Um, exactly. So, and, and I find as well it's quite um, – you can customize it, I would think, depending on what a manufacturer can do. They could change colors or add your, your pet's picture. It could, it could do a couple different things depending on uh, what they want to do. So, well, the really cool uh, thing is that, you know, you as the inventor, you come up with the sexy prototype, which you did. Your, mm-hmm. your prototype is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, oh, but you're you right so that, you know, when, a good, when you've had a good patent filed – now you've mm-hmm. got the, the licensee has got all kinds of flexibility on size, colors, materials. You know, they Absolutely. can do it, you know, the inside of it for, you know, the big dogs, the little dogs. It doesn't matter when you've had a utility right. patent filed. So what advice do you have for our listeners? Well, my advice is, you know, go for it. Um, it can be quite daunting when you look at the project. You have to take little, little steps, but you have to do your research and your due diligence. Um, patent searches are well worth the cost and time to seek out, you know, as well groups like Rita, what you have, um, to assist people along the journey you've done this and, and you're a great help um, in this arena. Um, and just keep moving forward and follow your dreams. That's what I hope to do. Well, thank you. And I, I, I appreciate that, um, that, that Sam, because we did help you with, you know, quite a few of your steps, and it's been an absolute pleasure to um, have you on board and working with us and uh, getting to know you and your husband. The I think the big thing for inventors to keep in mind is that, you know, you make, you, you, you kind of have the, the vision out there, but each decision you make is based on information that you gathered at the last step. Because we've had inventors that, you know, they've got, we had a gentleman, he wanted to get all teed up for going to this show, and he was so excited about mm-hmm. it. He got his search done, and he goes, there's a half a dozen things exactly like this. <laughs> so he will be moving on to his next project and hopefully right. making it to the show in 2025 um, because he's got to come up with a new idea. And that's just, you know, the, the the challenges of being an inventor is that just because you don't see it on the marketplace doesn't mean it hasn't been tried. And so understanding right. those steps is critical in going forward. So, Andrea, thank yeah. you so much for being with us today. I am looking forward to um, seeing Chuck out there and uh, getting your product out there. And right now, we do need to go and pay some bills. And thank you, everybody, for listening. Stick with us. We have got our industry expert coming right up after this message. Thank you.